How you doing out there? In today's video, we're going to show you how to fabricate a structural steel beam. So stay tuned, and here we go. All right, so the tools of the trade, what you're going to need to do this job, are pretty simple, but you're still going to need it nonetheless. Tape measure. I personally use a Stanley Fat Max, very good tape measure. This one's a little old here, but this is a very good tape measure. Okay, Stanley Fat Max. You're gonna need a speed square. Okay, there's six inch, twelve inch. This is a six inch. Um, okay, so what you do here, these come square. These come square here. What you're gonna want to do, is you're gonna want to round these edges. If you can see that, you want to round this off on a belt sander or something. Okay, so they're not, they're not uh, too square on you. Because what happens, and I'll show you that now, when you want to lay this in here to make lines, it will go in here so much easier and sit in there. Okay? Well, if that was square, it wouldn't be able to go up against this flange. Okay, so that's a speed square. You're going to need clamps, snap clamps. I would say at least two, if not more. You will need a well-sharpened soapstone. Well-sharpened soapstone. I do a flatter side for drawing my line, and then I have a marking line. Almost kind of looks like, like a pencil tip on this end. Very important to have a very sharp soapstone, because you're going to get much more accurate with that soapstone being that sharp. Okay. A two-foot carpenter square. Very important for setting clips. We'll see that later. You're going to need that. You can do steel or aluminum. This one's steel and it's much older now, but I prefer aluminum. But for today's purposes, we're doing steel. And the most important thing, a drawing of some sort. I just drew this up. We're going to be fabricating this beam. So you're going to need a drawing of some sort, wherever you get that from, from your shop, wherever you work, if you're doing this at home, from a detailer, an engineer, wherever. Okay? So... We'll get to it. Okay, so you just got your beam, and now you have what's the very first thing you got to do? Very first thing I do when I get a beam is I check the overall, or it would be the stock length, whatever your beam may be. Okay, you're going to check it. Okay, so this beam, you know, is one foot four and a half. It's a very small beam just to show for this, but it's one foot four and a half. So we're going to assume that you needed a one foot four and a half beam cut length. Now, then you take your carpenter square. You have to take your square, put it up on the beam. Make sure the cuts are square. This was, this is pretty good. Okay. Sometimes when they come from the mill, they're very out of square, and you must always pull your dimensions from the high side. So if this was out further and there was a gap down here, you want to pull all your dimensions from here. Not your low side, your high side, because that's going to be the first spot that hits. Okay? Very important. So you check that out. Okay, so then you're done with that. Put your square to the side. Now, you have your drawing here. You have your drawing, so you can come in and see this now. We're going to start marking this beam out. It has holes in the center. It has two clips on the end. And it has blockouts here and here. So I'm just going to start looking at we're going to start looking at these blockouts first. I lay them out first because it's the easiest to do when there's nothing on the beam. So we have three inches in, okay? We have three inches in. We're going to mark that at three inches. Three inches in, and we have two inches down. We have two inches down here, okay? We mark those two. Then we look over here. And we have the same thing, three inches in and two inches down. So we mark these lines, these areas. Then we take our speed square, and now we're going to draw on there. We have to draw our lines. Now, again, if this is square, this will work. If this isn't square, you're going to want to put your square like this. So we'll first. We want to run it off our high side. We'll pretend this is our high side. So we're going to strike a line there. Then we're going to take our speed square. Come around here. 
See this fits up there. We're going to draw this line down. It rotates, or you can put it in there. Drops in there. Make that line there. Then you come out to this side, and you can draw your line up from there. Okay? And then the other side, we're going to lay the other side out. That. There. There. And then you can't see it on the back, but you just trace it around with your speed square. So that's laying out your block outs. And when you cut these, even though we're not going to cut these here, you, you always want to make sure this is a radius. So you want to cut a little radius here, because that's called, like, that's like a shear point. It's where it could separate and break at the metal. So you want to put a radius there. Okay? So that's the block outs for this beam. Now, we're going to look at this and we're going to lay out the holes. The holes on the drawing are in the center. So this is the center line here. So we're going to bring, come over here. The beam is one four and a half. Okay. So we have to find center of one four and a half. That's six. Two and a quarter. So that's eight and a quarter. Is the center. Okay. So once we find that, we look at our drawing. Look at our drawing and it's four inches center. So we found the center of the beam. Okay, so then we're going to, we find the center, we have that there, we're going to put this up, our speed square up against the top, it fits in, draw a line down, we're going to come down here and draw another line down, up to get the center line. Then we have four inch centers, like we we're looking at the print, so you put it on a, mark two there, two inches there, two inches this way. So now you have four inch there, you take your speed square, and you make your lines here, and here, here, and here. Now, you have to come down, you're coming down three inches to the first set of holes from the top of the beam, and then you're going three inches, we're having three sets of holes. So you take your speed square, take your tape measure, come down from the top, line it up with three inches at the top, you run your tape measure to the speed square, and mark that. Then you bring it over here to this line, mark that. Put your speed square out of the way. Then you take your tape measure, over here. So, you're going to put that, you're going to come down three inches, and bring it over here. You're going to come down three inches, and those are your holes. Then you're going to center punch those. You're going to center punch those, and then they're done. They're ready to be drilled for later. Okay, now, I showed you early in the video of laying out holes. And I had shown you with a speed square and putting this up here, okay, and drawing your lines that way. This is actually definitely not the most efficient, but I showed you it's the older way for me. This is the new way. Now, there's a lot of guys out there in shops, they have beam lines. And when you put a beam into a beam line, it does all the holes for you. It does a lot for you, okay? But when you're just at a smaller shop and you need to lay holes out, this would be called, we call it a beam gauge tool. Uh, that's pretty much what we consider it, okay? This has your different dimensions here. It could be three, six, nine, usually what holes are at, okay? So I'm going to show you how to use that. So we're going to get our holes. We're going to get our line again. We're going to make it here. Center of the beam, eight and a quarter. We have to go two inches to the left. You can put it on a solid... Put it on the 9, go over to the 7, and then we're going to go over to 11. It's 4 inches. Now, you take your beam gauge tool, 
put it over here. These are fairly square. You should check them from time to time. But you line it up there on the edge. Draw the line down. Bring it over to your other hash mark. Draw it down. So now you have two lines there. Much quicker than flip-flopping that speed square. Now you take it and you have your, you got to be three inches down to the center of your first hole. Here's your mark for three. Put it in there. Three. Drag it back over. There's six down here. Six. And nine. And there you have your holes. Three, six, nine. And then you punch those and that's where your holes need to be. It's a absolutely a time saver. I mean a time saver. So if you don't have one of these or your shop can get them, you definitely want to get one because it saves that much time and that much money. And the last thing on this beam that we're going to show here is setting a clip. Clips on both ends. So most beams, the clip that you have, let me get my clips here, are going to hang off a half inch. These are your clips with your holes in them. Okay? So there's a cut length. We measured the cut length. Okay? Now we need the overall length from edge of clip to edge of clip. Okay? We're going to get our speed, our, uh, carpenter square here, frame it square, and we have to set these, the center of this first hole on this clip, down three inches from the top of the beam. So we're going to set that at three inches. So we grab our frame and square, we hold it off a half inch, okay, a half inch off the edge. So you're going to be a half inch off, then you have to come over here and set it three inches. Okay, so it's square, so you're off a half and you're down three to the first hole. You're going to be, you're going to be careful there not to knock it out of the way, and then you're going to clamp it. That clip's now on there. Now, this is not really a welding channel, but, so I'm assuming that you know how to weld and you're going to be able to tack this on here. But when you go to tack this on here with your welder, you're going to tack this point, one over in the corner, one in the center and one over here. So both sides and the center. That way this clip won't move when you take it off. Okay, so we'll pretend that, you know, now that's done. So what we're going to have to do then is set another clip over here on the other end. Okay, and we're going to say, for say's sake, it was one four and a half. We're going to make it one five and a half. So that's a half inch down here and a half inch down here. So we have to take our tape measure and make sure this side comes to one five and a half. Okay. Now, once that's there, we have to square that clip and make sure it's square and three inches down. So we we now have it at one five and a half square, and then we set the clip at three inches down. Then we're going to have to take our clamp and we're going to clamp it down here. Let me adjust this here. Then we clamp it. And again, we're going to tack edge, center, edge. And that would be that would be a basic beam here. This is not the only way you can do it, but it's one of the ways you can do it. So, thank you.